So this is Steve and I'm here with Mike Nutter, uh, president of the Tin Caps. Day before opening day, uh, how you feeling today? A lot of emotion. We're feeling pretty good. Uh, we can control everything just about but the weather. And so of the stuff that we can control, uh, I'm not just saying it. I'm as excited as we've been in the three years down here. There's a fresh coat of paint on a lot of stuff. There's a lot of uh, uh, subtle and uh, improvements around the ballpark. We're very excited. We, with the weather we're having right now, I wish we were playing right now, but uh, it'll have to wait another day. Third season is 10 caps. You had quite a few as the Wizards before that. Uh, is it getting to be old school at this point? No, you know what, it never, it's a great question, but to guys like me and our staff, you know, opening day is like a holiday around here for us. So if it ever does get where it's not exciting, I'll check out on everybody. And so uh, it's tremendous. We really look forward to this. It's been a great uh, off season from our staff. They've really set us up to have another successful season with group sales and season ticket sales and that kind of stuff. And we welcomed our boys into town here a couple of days ago. We're excited about some of the prospects the Padres brought us and we're just ready to get it going. Okay. And uh, speaking of excitement, tomorrow night, first game, and you've got 3D video plan. It's a Thursday, Thursday. Uh, what else? Fireworks. Fireworks. There's all kinds of stuff. Yeah. And so opening day in itself is, like I said before, kind of like a little holiday. And so when you combine one of the first teams ever, if not the first team ever, to do 3D up on the video board and in the game program, that's incredibly exciting from Mike Limmer and the rest of the staff that worked on that. And then uh, the fireworks people love, the Thirsty Thursday. Uh, you know, we told these guys when they got to town, hey, now we're 2-0 and on opening day. So there's a little bit of pressure to keep that run going. Uh, I have no doubt they'll play hard and hopefully we come out on top. Speaking of the team, uh, anybody to look for this year? Yeah, I think there are. Uh, Sean Wooten is our manager. I think he's a guy to look at as a future uh, big league manager, coach type. Uh, his first chance running his own team at single A and in low A ball. Former World Series champion with the Angels in 02 when they beat the Giants. Uh, we've got a nice ring from the 2009 Midwest League Championship, but he's got a pretty nice one from the 2002 World Series Championship. And so he's a great guy, great motivator. For prospects, Donovan Tate will play center field for us. He was the third pick in the whole draft a couple of years ago. Signed a major signing bonus over $6 million with the Padres. Uh, Zach Cates, Kevis Sampson, uh, Adis Portillo are three big pitching prospects. There's certainly a lot more than that, but just to single out a few, the infield looks really strong, uh, so we're excited. You know, everybody's optimistic this time of the year. I'm optimistic even when we're down 9 nothing, thinking we're going to come back. But we have a lot of hope and a lot of aspirations this year. Well, I was also reading uh, one of the press releases, I think, from Dan, and he talked about all the different countries that are represented or have, have yeah. been represented at one point. Yeah, point. there's no question about it. Over the years, we've had a bunch. And right now, uh, as we sit here now, we have a ton with uh, obviously the United States, uh, Canada, which isn't always the norm, but we have a Canadian on our team, uh, Dominican Republic, Venezuela, Puerto Rico, Colombia, uh, I think we've got Mexico, so I mean it really is uh, an amazing thing while they're here. They take English as a second language courses that are set up through the Padres at the levels that we're at right now to get everybody acclimated into the country and the community and into the game. So there's a lot of behind the scenes that go with something like that when you've got you know eight countries represented with 25 guys on a roster. Let's talk a little bit about maybe somebody coming downtown for the first time to a, a Parkview Field and for a Tin Caps game. Anything that they should be aware of? Any any tips? It's a great question. You know, tips uh, on a day like opening day, a uh, lot of excitement. You know, we, we've got to kick the dust off some things. We're going to do our best to be our best tomorrow, but we'll probably have a few glitches, I mean, in the, in the deal. But always get here a little early on a normal game. Gates open an hour before. On a game like tomorrow or some of the other 20-some fireworks shows, it's an hour and a half early. The food is tremendous, so get in here early if you want to eat dinner here, have a great time. Uh, we're always open about it when it's a day game, when it's our midweek day games, that's the one time parking is a bit of a challenge because all the downtown, not all, but the majority of the downtown lots and garages are full. So if you come down and join us for one of our kids days or business person specials, every seat in the stadium might be full. We want to have you, we've got room, but make sure on a day game you give yourself a little extra time. Anything else we left out? 
No, I think we're, you covered it all. There's still probably 2,000 or so tickets for opening night, and we're hoping for weather like this. Mike, we appreciate your time, and, and you know, it's, it's great to have you guys back again. Thank you. We've been waiting. We've been chomping at the bit all yeah. off season. We're ready to get it rolling.